What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of career mode This is episode number 177 and we start today's episode off with a game against Lille here in the Coupe de Ligue quarter final Now obviously last season in the Coupe de Ligue interestingly enough our first loss as PSG manager came in at the quarter final of this competition and this year are we going to be taking it seriously? Absolutely not. We still don't really care about this competition. As you can see by the team lineup, 11 changes from the side that did beat Nice on the weekend. Because quite frankly, even though I have mentioned it would be nice to win a cup in France, one of the Coupe de Ligue or Coupe de Nationale, or is it Coupe de Ligue and Coupe Nationale? I can't remember. But uh, even so, one of these two trophies, I'm still not fussed, particularly about this one. Coupe Nationale, maybe I'll take it a little bit more seriously than last year. But, you know, for the Coupe de Ligue, it just is the League Cup pretty much in, in French football for me anyway and uh, coming into the game I was not really fussed and that's why there were 11 changes and the first chance would fall to us though in the 24th minute with Cater going down his right hand side and taking on his man. He cuts inside with the Berber spin then a nice little turn of agility to beat Simon Chier and a fantastic finish past the goalkeeper and into the back of the net so Cater with a nice little goal there and you know Cater is one of those players here at PSG. He's a 79 overall winger who does have decent potential and can succeed in this team but his, his chances are limited, his opportunities are limited, his game time is limited. So it's always going to be difficult for him to, to show why he should be in the first team in the future. But to be honest, whenever I do play this guy, he always does well. So maybe, just maybe, this competition is not just a case of us playing fringe players, but also a case for us to look at these players and think, should we give them an extended run in the first team in more important games? Maybe we should with players like Keita, because he's playing really well. So 1-0 to PSG. In the 29th minute, though, Lille did hit the post with this shot going past. Areola and smack in the woodwork so the away side almost back on level terms there thankfully that was still 1-0 in the 35th minute, a great chance for Lille to take the lead. And Bembia playing a fantastic ball out wide towards Jermaine. He back heels it past Van de Veel and picks out his man. But fortunately for us, the finish is really poor. And it goes behind for a goal kick. So a great chance for Lille to get themselves back on level terms. But they messed up the finish. However, in the 45th minute here, we go on the break. Falvin playing the ball forward towards Anthony Martial. And let's just say the less said about that finish the better. Yeah, I don't exactly know what I was trying to do there, but still 1-0. And in the 45th minute, directly from kickoff in the second half, Falvin's on the ball for us and goes down this right-hand side. Double step -os before finding his man. Anthony Martial turns the defender and shoots from range, but it does go wide and behind for a goal kick. So he had a couple of good chances, but still 1-0. And in the 52nd minute, again, we come forward here with Bovo finding Paloon back towards Bovo. And as Leo get on the ball here to back heel, they eventually give it away with a great challenge by a holding midfielder. Falvin's onto it, goes through and shoots, but it's a good save by the goalkeeper and Leo will get the ball away. So still 1-0, but so many opportunities for us to extend the lead in this game. In the 6th, 7th minute, though, Leo had a corner and Jermaine crosses the ball in and it's... Well, it's, it's a bit of a howler by Areola, isn't it? He goes to punch the corner away. He doesn't get there. And Simon Kier heads it into the back of the net. The unguarded net. And makes it PSG 1, Lille 1. So, just a, a really, really poor piece of goalkeeping. And, you know, we saw Lloris having some howlers in the last games. And Simon Kier there capitalising on a, ha a howler by our backup goalkeeper, Areola. And it's PSG 1, Lille 1. So, very, very frustrating goal to concede there. And Lille are back on level terms. In the 78th minute, though, Areola does make a good save from this header and we get the ball away after Lille's chance comes to nothing but in the 90th minute well how about this if you ever heard the phrase defense wins championships this is what they're referencing this is unbelievable from Marquinhos now my center back makes a challenge virtually the last kick of the game as the Lille are going through one on one and I just had to include the replay for this as the game does go into extra time this is probably the best slide tackle I've ever seen on FIFA Lille are surely going to win the game and make it 2-1 there and Marquinhos how about that for a last ditch challenge that is crazy the way he wraps his legs around the ball doesn't take any of the man and gets it into control before passing the ball out that is just that's incredible like that's a genuinely incredible challenge and maybe I'm you know I don't know, maybe you guys don't see the, uh, the fascination about that, but I thought that was absolutely extraordinary. What a challenge there, and it takes the game into extra time, because Lille surely would have won the game there, had it not been for Marquinhos. So still 1-1, we do go into extra time, and in the 104th minute here, Keita comes forward here, looking for his second goal of the game, and ends up getting taken down in a box, and the referee awards a penalty. So penalty to us, and Lille would also get a man sent off for this as well, and I didn't really know whether it was a straight red card, but it was given, and that's two straight 
straight red cards in two games for AI opposition. Sebastian Corsia getting sent off there. He sarcastically applauds the referee and it is a penalty and a red card as well. So Keita, a little bit of contact, not too much. Wasn't really sure whether it was enough to bring him down theatrically, but it was a penalty though, said the referee. You know, great chance for us to make it 2-1 uh, here from the spot as we are just about to end the first half of extra time. It is going to be Anthony Martial against Jan Sommer. Can he make it 2-1? No, he can't because I tried to bluff the goalkeeper and do something I rarely do and go down the middle. And that's why I don't go down the middle because the goalkeeper stayed down the middle and has a simple save. So PSG 1, Lille, uh, sorry, PSG 1, Lille 1 and Martial misses a penalty. However, two minutes after the restart in the second half of extra time, it was redemption for our young striker because he does drill in a uh, finish and a shot after the corner was drilled into the centre there. I love the fact you can drill corners along the ground now. That's so cool and so effective. Lovely corner. Martial gets to it first and does make a PSG 2, Lille 1. And it was how the game would finish as well. So despite missing a penalty and despite Areola messing up for Lille's goal, two mistakes there. One by me and one by the AI controlling the goalkeeper. It was still a very, very... It was a frustrating game, but I felt as though he deserved it in the end. And Martial had a couple of good chances in that game, other than the penalty as well. But he did take the one that won us the game too. So PSG 2, Lille 1, and we do go through to the Coupe de League uh, quarterfinals. I think I said it quarterfinals a minute ago, didn't I? That was around the 16 stage. We're now through to the quarterfinals. And um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to get into the semis and maybe even the final. Because even though, as I mentioned before, I don't really care too much about the competition, the further we go, we get a little bit more scratch for it. And the players get happy as well, as we do tend to rotate the squad a lot more and uh, just, just keep the fringe players happy you know we'll have to wait and see though uh, still following that the chief executive came to us and said that three players have their contracts up at the end of the year and can leave in January on a free transfer those players were David Luiz on Genda and also Ezekiel Levetsi now Levetsi is going to retire at the end of the season so we can't offer him a new deal so that's just dead in the water as for David Luiz and Ongenda well I don't want to give a pay increase to a, uh, a player who barely gets played in Ongenda so as he declines the contract I said fair enough you can leave if you want to but David Luiz I did offer him a contract and he said he will stay for another year which is good because he's 84 overall yes he's decreasing in stats but still a decent centre back right now but the most important thing is knowing that he won't leave the club in January on a free transfer as for Ongenda, like, I mean, I do see his value, don't get me wrong, but if he's going to get a pay increase to 70 grand a week as a 76 overall winger who's not developing, that just defeats the point of what we did in the summer transfer window, which was ship on those players that are deadwood, don't play too many games, and are just basically eating into wage budget, really. So, yeah, Ongenda can leave. I don't mind about that. And again, I will reiterate, I do see his value, but quite frankly, 70 grand a week for a sporadic first team player is just outrageous. But uh, still, we take on Bordeaux for the second and final game of today's episode here as we travel away from home. And of course, back to the first 11 as we come back into the team. As you would have seen as well, uh, Laporta is now returning from injury, but he's not ready to play just yet. So that's why he didn't start this game. And David Luiz would continue in the first team, but he is almost ready to play again, which is good because although we haven't really missed him per se, he is a great centre back and he is stunting his development being in the treatment room. But uh, still, we do indeed take on Bordeaux for the first game, uh, sorry, the second game of today's episode. And we would take the lead through that man Lacazette. Really nice through ball to our striker and Lacazette shows exactly why Gonzalo Higuain despite scoring a few good goals in the Champions League and despite being an 87 rated striker is still on the bench. Really composed finish by Lacazette. Curling it past the goalkeeper and making it 1-0 to PSG just 16 minutes in. Four minutes later here Bordeaux are on the ball and play it backwards towards their centre back but as they get the ball away cheaply here Remy Cabela wins it back down this right hand side. It's a great chance to make it 2-0. He's got his bro uh, Lacazette in the centre as he heel heel flicks around his man drills the ball in, it's cleared away, only as far as Coulom though, and his shot goes just wide of the post and behind for a goal kick. So still Bordeaux nil, PSG 1 as Coulom. well maybe not the closest of attempts but still a decent chance there and it was still 1-0. In the 33rd minute though, Coulom gets the ball over the halfway line and keeps hold of the ball for us. As he gets tackled it comes to Kevin Savanier, Savanier back heels towards Remy Cabela, lovely ball out wide towards Ashton Gutta right back here, has space to shoot and does so and he almost scores a screamer as well but it does hit the bar and go behind. So still 1-0. In the 68th minute though, Bordeaux they're on the wall again and quite frankly in this game it was a case of them just not really doing enough with the ball and whenever they did get on the ball they tried to pass it around and sometimes gave the ball away and when they did get the ball away we looked threatening we looked like we'd have punished them on the counter and we did exactly that there they get the ball away cheaply the ball gets played through towards Lacazette and he doubles his goal tally and doubles the score as well so Bordeaux nil PSG 2 lovely ball by Cabela into Lacazette Lacabella working again together and it is Lacazette making it 2-0 and getting his 15th goal in Ligue 1 this year 
And it was how the game would finish as well, a 2-0 victory for us, because the final chance did fall to Bordeaux, pretty much their only chance of the game, really, on the one-on-one, -on -one. but a shot hit deflection off Larice and went behind for a corner. So, final score, Bordeaux 0, PSG 2, and 19 games in, we are still top of Liga. And as things stand, I won't say we're running away with the league, and the league's already won. We got one hand on the trophy, but it's going to take a monumental collapse for us to throw away this league we got right now, and it's going to take a huge effort for the teams below us to get back into the mix. But as always, guys, a big thank you for watching the video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed the episode, please leave a like, and I'll see you for the next episode of Career Mode very soon.